day Edward was talking to Trevor when Douglas steamed by. He was pulling a train of heavy coal trucks. Come on, Edward. Stop gossiping in the sun when there's wet to be done. Later, Edward spoke to Douglas. Trevor and I are old friends, and you and he have a lot in common too. Ach, aye, quizzed Douglas. And what would that be? Scrap, said Edward quietly. Douglas gasped. Don't mention that word. It makes my wheels wobble. It does the same to Trevor. He was being sent to the scrapyard, but the vicar of me and cream and cheese saved him. Now he's really useful again. Even so, the fat controller certainly does need another steam engine here. Aye, it's true. And quickly. That night, Douglas was still working. He had taken the midnight goods train to a station at a faraway part of the island where only the diesels work. He was just shunting, ready for his return journey, when... That sounds like a steam engine, he thought. The hiss came again. Who's there? asked Douglas. A whisper came. Excuse me. Are you a fat controller's engine? Aye, and I'm proud of it. Well, I'm Oliver, and this is Toe the Brake Van, and this is Jane the Hedgehog. I've run out of coal and I have no more steam. But what are you doing? We're escaping to your railway. From what? Scrap! Douglas shivered. Then, he remembered Edward's story about saving Trevor. I'll be glad to help you, he said. It'll have to look as if you're ready for scrap, and I'm taking you away. The drivers and firemen agreed to help too. Everyone worked fast. No time to turn around, panted Douglas. I'll run tender first. Come on! Before they could clear the station, they were stopped. Aha! exclaimed the foreman. A great western engine and a brake van too. You can't take these. Yeah, you can't be stealing our scrap properties. Uncouple them at once. Can we no? Tell all for us. See for yourself. The foreman looked all over Oliver. Seems in order. What do you think, Scourge? Hmm. I guess they have a point. It said scrap, so why not? Well, then it's Sheldon. Right away, guard. <laughs> We've had worse, smiled Oliver, and they forged ahead. It was daylight when their journey ended. We're home, cried Douglas. Shh. Look, there's Edward. Oliver said goodbye and thank you, and Douglas puffed away. The next day, Douglas told the other engines all about Oliver. The fat controller will have to know, said James. Douglas should sell him at once, added Gordon. Well, here he is, said a voice. Now, what's this all about? Beg pardon, sir, but we do need another engine. Yes, sir, ventured Gordon. A steam engine, sir. I'm afraid that unless one is saved from scrap, there's little hope. But, sir, burst out Douglas, one has. Yes, indeed. And thanks to you, Douglas, he is now at our works. Oliver is just what we need for Duck's branch line. Everyone cheered. Now Oliver and Toad are mended and painted in full great western colours. 
Geo was very happy. He got his best friend Jay back. And so is Duck and Oliver. Because the others laughed at first and called him the Little Western. Duck and Oliver were delighted. And so the Little Western it will always be.